this is a unique project for us. 95% probably of this project is self-performed for Crossland. Self-performed guys around this Joplin, uh, Southeast Kansas area, we just honestly killed it, knocked it out of the park on this one. A lot of challenges to go through, many foundations. Uh, we poured over 25,000 cubic yards of concrete. We've set and cast it in place over 4,000 anchor bolts. Well, right now I'm working kind of underneath the superintendent, but I'm his second in charge. And right now we're working on uh, containment areas for the 600 area. I have been in charge of the elevated deck. So we're pouring the concrete floors as we go up with these three buildings. Uh, we've also taken on the siding, a lot of the infill for the project. So that's under my scope as well. I honestly get sent to do a little bit of everything. You name it, I've done it. We've been from the ground up. So literally from whenever it was a hole on these buildings all the way to the fifth deck. I've been on all of it. Every day is a, a new challenge. Yeah, you got to keep 100% uh, every day out here. Probably the best thing about operating is the, the accomplishment you get after completing a task, knowing that you've been able to create something with a piece of machinery that you're proud of. It. I think Ryan Studebaker deserves more credit than he's been given. He's been the one out there pouring with us every day. And everybody in the office is great too. Brian, Aaron. And I've been here since like the dirt work was started and you know seeing how big it's been uh, and how much I've learned has been really really cool. Uh, it's always seeing the the fruits of your work and whatnot uh, just starting to see the job start completing and final final pictures what it's all about. Coming here I didn't know anything at all and Josh has taught me a lot my other mentors have taught me everything that I know so just do it you'll find just you'll find your uh, your place. This is a major industrial project. You know, there's different piping, different equipment. There's all kinds of things that we see out here and learn from every day. The good thing about Crossland uh, is we have a ton of resources. If we don't have something, we'll get it. It doesn't matter what it takes, we're gonna get the job done. Whereas a lot of other people would back down and say, oh, we can't do that job. So with Crossland, it's a go-get-it attitude. We are a local contractor to this project. This project is right in our backyard.